Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So this time we've got a quest that's available for the game Middle Earth, Shadow of War. And like it says here, that is worth 75 Microsoft Rewards points and we need to get 75 kills. So one, one point per kill here. And uh, this is good through February 1st. This is actually a game that you could play on xCloud. So if you have a, an Android device and you want to play it through xCloud, you can do that. Also, if you're downloading it to your Xbox, you can actually go ahead and complete this one before the game completely downloads during the ready to start phase. So that's actually what I'm taking advantage of here and just completing it on my Xbox. So we'll start the campaign on easy difficulty, and basically we're just going to move through the first two sections of the level. We actually completed this quest back in May of 2020, so this uh, this might sound familiar to some of you guys. If it uh, if it does sound familiar, then you probably know what's coming up. We're just going to complete those first two sections of the game again. It gets a little repetitive, but uh, it is not difficult by any means. And I'll show you the quickest ways to get the kills on the orcs in these sections. So you can press B to skip the first couple of cutscenes here, and that'll save you a little bit of time. Darian. Darian. I will find you. So as we walk up to this first enemy, you can see on screen here that we've got the right trigger to enter the stealth mode, and then X to perform a stealth kill. So every one of the enemies in this area does count towards your 75. So you'll want to just sneak up on as many as you can and take them out. Now, if they do notice you and start fighting with you, that is okay. But uh, if you're able to kill them fast enough, even if they're facing you, you can use that uh, right trigger and X to get the stealth kill on them before they're able to really draw their sword and, and fight back against you. So if you look at your mini-map at the lower left, there are about 20 enemies in this area. I think I think I actually end up with 21 after I kind of search around and try to find everybody. Quite a few of them are down on the ground level. Some of them are up higher. So just kind of move around on each level, find everybody you can, and then keep descending down to the lower level. So again, we're just sneaking up, using stealth as much as we can with that right trigger and X to finish them off. So just skipping ahead a little bit here, so this is where I went down to the lowest level, got just a few enemies left, and this guy noticed me, so I actually end up having to fight against him, but again, it's it's pretty easy even if you don't uh, stealth kill them. You can just basically mash the X button, and sometimes you'll have to hit the Y button to perform a counterattack to block their, their attacks. But that is all of the enemies in this first area. And if you ever want to, you can hop out and check your status, your progress on this by going to the Game Pass app and looking at this specific quest and you'll be able to see how much progress you've made. And so if we scroll down to the Middle Earth quest, here we go, I've got 21 out of 75 after moving through that first area. So now we're going to start moving towards this yellow diamond that's over here where it says Find Celebramore. And as you go down into this first sort of spidery, spider web covered cave here, you'll see some little spiders crawling around the outside edge. And if you hit X, you can kill those. And I believe those do count towards your kills. And I see a few more as I approach the end of this cave area. If you move on to where the yellow dot is, you'll move into the next area. So, so keep your eyes peeled for those spiders. There may be a few more lying around. I think I end up with about four or five of them. Yeah, so it looks like I got five total. All right, so moving on into the next area. This is the area that's going to get really repetitive, but I'll show you how to get all the remaining kills in this next section. So as you move into the cavern there, you can press B to skip the cutscene again, and that will load you into the next area. And I forgot to mention, this quest takes about 20 minutes total, so we're a few minutes in at this point, about halfway there. So look to, look to spend about 20 minutes on this, maybe a little bit longer if your stealth kills don't go too well. All right, so we can skip the cutscene for Act One here. We need to do something. Taking out the captain should buy the Gondorians some time, and they could lead us to the Palantia. We must find a worm. We will have to press the A button to jump down off of this ledge onto the lower level. All right, so in this section, there is a prompt on screen that says "Hold B to interrogate a worm," and it's got that sort of green. Um, sort of sideways diamond shape on it. 
Uh, ignore those instructions. Don't hold down the B button at all in this section. What we're looking to do is finish up our kills in this section. And if you interrogate the worm character, you'll be able to progress on to the next section, but we want to get as many kills as we can right here. So use your mini-map, take out some of the orange guards. Those don't respawn, but the worms will endlessly respawn in those same little areas that you see them in now. So we're just going to take advantage of this section that has a lot of enemies in it and repeatedly take them out. And the approach that I was using was, again, trying to do the stealth kills, but you can also run between the different uh, enemies by holding down the A button to sprint. And so that can be a really fast way to move between. So I got into a rhythm here of holding down the A button, sprinting towards one of the enemies that I saw on the minimap, then holding down the right trigger, and then pressing X to get the stealth kill. So the pattern is hold down A, right trigger, X. And like I said earlier, even if the enemy spots you and gets kind of startled, you still have sort of a split second there where you can get the stealth kill without them really starting to fight back. So even though you might be approaching them head on, you, you still might be able to get your stealth kill. So, so try doing that rhythm and we're going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit so you don't have to watch me kill these guys about, uh, you know, 40 times. Uh, you've got to get about 40 more kills or so. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and skip ahead to the finish of the quest where I'm getting close to my 75. All right, so skipping ahead here to the last couple of kills, I believe this is number 74 according to my count. So again, just sprinting with A and sprinting towards number 75 that we see on the mini-map. And we'll finish him off with one more stealth kill. And after that, it'll take just a minute for the quest to unlock. As we all know, it is not an immediate thing. Uh, basically, just waiting for the servers to update, get the information, and pass it back to our Xbox that we have completed the quest. So there we go. We've got the quest completed, so we'll go ahead and hold down the Xbox button to turn that in and grab those 75 rewards points. That is going to do it for today on Middle Earth. We're going to have monthly quest guides coming out for all of the other January quests as well as the weekly quests. And it looks like we're going to have some more guides coming out probably tomorrow as soon as the Gamerscore Challenge Plus starts up. So if you're looking to earn a lot of Microsoft Rewards points, stay tuned for the guides on those. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.